20, you know, with, with, with all my music. You know? Do you play any music apart from the Western? Do you have interest towards... Yes, uh, yeah, maybe a uh, band. I have a strong connection with folk, with folk, folk. folkloric Argentinian music. But nothing main, mainstream? Not so much mainstream? No, no, no. no, no. Maybe uh, I, in my music I have a strong influence of uh, native folkloric music, okay. indigenous music from South okay. America. Okay. You know? On that, no? okay. I'm from the last year from Indian music also, no? since I studied collaborating mm -hmm. with India, mm -hmm. I've got, but not from Indian music, but mainly from Indian philosophy. So I think the, the interesting, if I can say interesting thing on, on my compositions is that I use the philosophy as a vehicle for composition. No? Okay. So uh, uh, most of the composers, when they interact with India, they interact with the sound of India. Mm -hmm. No, with the ragas or no, with the rhythms, no, which is interesting also. But then it sounds like fusion. No? It doesn't sound like an original uh, style or no. It's uh, it's not easy when you start combining an Indian raga with this. No, it sounds like a, it's India but played by Western. No? Okay. So what I what I realized that I I or I choose to use philosophy as as a as a vehicle for composition, no? So the ideas, the, the difficulty is that you have to process, the way of processing the musical material uh, is through the Buddhist phenomenon. Okay. You know? And, and if someone wants access to your material, where, where, where can they get it? Is it online? On yeah, YouTube? Yeah, some of that is online. We are creating now a platform for... You're also there on YouTube, right? Your, your, your yes, music. yeah, yeah. That's okay, yes. okay. Um... um few last questions that I would want to answer regarding Goa. What's the music scene in Goa and uh, uh, what, what, what is in store for Goa's Western music and, and other things or anything that you can elaborate on Goa? Yes, so, so uh, I think <coughs> I, I will send you some articles that from last year that mm. describe more or less how does the music scene has changed. It has changed in the last five years. No? Uh, because of the creation of the Western music chair, music chair. and the interaction between Goa and other places of, of India also, no? Mm -hmm. uh, I somewhere I, read that, sorry to interrupt, I somewhere read that your plans of starting a school, uh, uh, a Western music school in Goa. Yes, uh, yeah, uh, what we, our main thing is to create a, a music degree okay. at the university. That's, that thing, I think... It can be anywhere, it can be here or at, yeah, the, at the music school in Goa. Okay. No? Actually, we already got the approval for a community college. Okay. No, for Western music, that's already approved. So, but uh, we want to do it properly because it's going to be the first music degree for Western music in India. In India, and no, that so, too in Goa. Yeah. So we want to attract people. There's a big movement of Western music happening in India. From no? before, the, I From mean, the last five to seven years, no, it has changed. Uh, it a lot. has changed. It's changing. But before, it wasn't that much. As I know. It has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. no? On choral music, it has changed. Also with the interaction with more Westerns, no? And Indians, now there's a generation of Indian Indian musicians that have been trained there mm -hmm. and they are coming, coming back. Coming back, oh, okay. Yeah, and they want to come back. Oh, no? Okay. Because uh, before most of them, when they were trained there, they stay there. It's because there was nothing to do here. No? Like a professional pianist, mm -hmm. 20 years ago, he would never come back because there's nothing to do for him here. But now they see that there are some things that they can do. And can they survive? Uh, in yeah, England? little by little it's happening, no? Okay. Yeah, 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 it's happening. Okay. No? What's, what's the future for, for, for the Goa University choir? It's, I know it, mm. it, it has a bright future. Yes. It, what well, do you we, think? On, on the last year, from, from 2017, we, are like a, we have a regular choir, no? Because before we were only like a few months a year, mm. two, three months a mm. year. That's from last year, and since then we have improved a lot. No, we've done our first recording. We did an album, which is there. No, mm -hmm. that album is there. No? The 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 rain or uh, the, the, the rains the rains of faith and yeah, which combines sorry. some Indian uh, music with with Gregorian mm -hmm. chant. No, it's a it's a nice album. It's your composition, right? Yeah, some parts. Some parts. Some parts okay. of the, uh, I did. Some parts are original music from other composers. Uh, you you do compose original music, and yeah, how yes. how long does it take? A few months, years? Mm, 
depending on okay. it, can take a, it takes a lot of yeah, time just just like uh, yeah yeah it's like if you write a book maybe you true. just vomit it in uh, in a few months or you can take 10 years to write true. it you know? and any performance is always original no yes. uh, okay yeah, yeah. The, with the choir, choir? yeah no sometimes we do okay like now we did with the bombay with the and symphony orchestra of india we did the beethoven's ninth symphony oh, okay. which is one of the biggest music choirs of history you know uh, so from last year the choir has been improving a lot. We did already two concerts at the NCPA with the National Orchestra. Mm -hmm. you no, know, we did a few trips to Bombay, Bangalore, mm -hmm. and, and, and Mangalore also. Mm -hmm. We are planning some trips abroad to Europe. Even in North India, there's a demand in Delhi. Yes, yeah, we have Calcutta. Been, there's, there's, okay, yeah. And and your plans of of uh, of mixing Eastern and uh, Western with the choir is also going to happen? Yes, we are already, already doing, no? mainly most of the repertoire that we are trying to, at least two or three programs a year, are about that. No? So interacting also with, with Indian musicians. But it's not easy. It's not easy because it's not about just mixing. No? Mm -hmm. It's like, for me it doesn't work if you just put curry Cut, into uh. beef. No? <laughs> it's not about that. Yeah, no? true. It's about the creation of something new, you no? Know? It's like a new dish, not a mix of flavors, you no? Know? Uh, and that takes time, you no? Know? It takes time and, and, and exploration and mistakes. And we try and it doesn't work or it's okay, but people like it, but we don't like it, so we move ahead and we try another way, you no? Know? So we've been already collaborating with Indian musicians for, for three years already, you no? Know? And now we are just maybe finding a, a way to make it happen uh, better and better, no? Because better. The traditions are very different, no? One is written, one is not written, mm -hmm. one is improvised, no? The other one is everything is planned and, no? So how do you, no, uh, cross those traditions that everyone will feel comfortable but also free to develop their own ideas, no? So that's something that needs to be processed. No? Is, is, is Goa the, uh, the ideal place to, to, to study Western music or anything related to Western than any other part? In India. Uh, in India? South Asia? Uh, yeah. Well, in South Asia you have many other places. Places, you know? okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Some other but countries are much more... Sri Lanka and, and... Maybe not. I don't know. Sri Lanka. Uh, I don't know what South Asia is for you, but like... Uh, Thailand, Thailand and all that. They have South a Asia, uh, East, Asia. East Asia. But yeah. they, they so East Asia is much more. It's advanced. much more than. Uh, yeah. Much yeah? More, no? Okay. Yeah. Japan, but in India? Or Japan? Yeah. Japan, Thailand, Malaysia, yeah. Indonesia. Japan, they have yeah. the best choirs in the world. Oh. You know? Much better, probably better than the Europeans ones. You know? Oh, really? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, they have developed a. But, but in India, Goa can be. Goa can be a. Yeah, I think so, no? Because or Bombay, here, the Parsis are doing better. Well, they have a lot of money and they have the, okay. the National Center Performing Arts okay. and they have the Symphonic Orchestra of India. But not many Indians are there. Most of them are foreigners. Okay. Like the Symphonic Orchestra of India, 90% of them are Foreign. foreigners. There are only seven Indians in an orchestra of 80 people. You know? So it's an Indian orchestra, I don't know. I mean, it's paid by Indians, yes. It's, but not many Indians are playing. The conductors are not Indians, the choir is not Indian. So, for example, this season is the very first time with, with the university choir that a, an Indian choir is singing with the symphonic orchestra of India. Okay. Usually they used to host international choirs. Okay. But now they realize that they, good, they can get good quality choirs also from India, which is easier, cheaper no, for them. No? Much cheaper to bring a university choir mm. from Goa yeah, than to bring yeah, 50... Free. British singers from from UK. No? So so th th there are more Indians in in, in the Goan choir, the the Goan University choir than the than the one in NCPA or other. Yeah, choir. Our, our choir is only Indians. No? Wow. <laughs> but the orchestra, the Symphonic Orchestra of India, it's most of them are foreigners, no Russians, Kazakhs, um, a, a lot, know, some British or no. Yeah, yeah. I I also somewhere heard that. Uh, sorry, I read that. Uh, you had your hand in 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 starting the Bangalore's uh, orchestra, some some orchestra in, in, mm. in sorry the choir. Uh, yeah, I work with them. No? Uh, uh, do they come here for practice performance? Is there a fusion we, between? We are doing a collaboration with one choir called the Bangalore Men, mm -hmm. you know, which is a small choir. But you started the men. started the one in Bangalore? No, no, no. Okay. I work with them, okay. and I work also with another orchestra, 
in Bangalore, which we started also in collaboration with them, not only me, with, them, with the school, you know, with the old director of the school. But I think since, since then, I, I started within 2000, end of 2013, and we did some good projects. You know? And they have also developed thanks to some foreigners also working. You know? It's not about that the foreigners are better, it's that they are trained on. Oh, okay. you know? I mean, Indians can be great artists. Great musicians. All depends on the training. But there's no training here. Mm -hmm. no? So I have very good friends, Indian musicians. They are wonderful musicians, but they've been trained abroad. Okay. okay. Because there's no, there's no even one institution where you can study music in India, Western music. But 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 now there's more scope. There's more chances of. Uh, yeah, it's happening. It's, now. it's yeah, much yeah, better. I'm sure in the next five ten years It'll somebody has to do something. No. Because It'll get better. Yeah, because it has no sense to fly away, no? Mm -hmm. Be before, they need it because if you are the only one that wants to go, okay. But if you have 20 Goans that they want to go abroad, why you go abroad? Mm -hmm. We start the project here and you start it here, no? Uh, so it's happening, it's happening, mm -hmm. little by little, no? And then a lot of choirs and orchestras are coming. Only last year we hosted five choirs from abroad, mm -hmm. like from Oxford mm -hmm. University, from King, the King's College, mm -hmm. you know, which is also important choir, they came and they sing with us. Uh -huh. you no, know, with the university choir, we sang with one Brazilian choir, with one Italian choir, with the Oxford choir, with the King's College choir, with the Georgian choir. You no, know? only in one year we hosted five choirs. Each of them has thirty people. You no, know? so that's it's it's an example that things are. Moving. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all I can see is bright future for the choirs in India, especially the uh, Goa yes. University Choir. Yeah, yeah, yes. Talking about future, what's, what's in future, what's in store for you? What, what's your plan of the future? Uh, how many more years here or what, what's your plan ahead? Apart from starting the college and yeah, what do you think of year, Only from last year I'm staying here. Okay. So I haven't planned much no, because there's too much food on my plate right, right now. No? I still do collaboration with, with European ensembles. I have, well, like in Sevilla, no, in Barcelona, I have projects which I, I live in India not full year, maybe eight months a year. Okay. Like the academic year, I'm here, but then in November, December, I'm usually out full December, mid Jan, and then July, August, I'm not here. So I still do some projects. Project. I want to keep that, no, because that also keeps me connected with the professional. Okay. No tradition, no with Western no mus musicians, because the 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 problem here is that you, you can get stuck, no, if you are only here on the Western music, uh, I mean scene, no, mm -hmm. because most of the things that are happening, I'm involved, no, at least in Goa, no, mm -hmm. so uh, I like that and it's very interesting and no, exciting and we are able. Only hosting these choirs and orchestras, oh, that's more than enough to do, you know. Uh, but I try to keep my relations with, with, with Europe because that keeps me also aware of what is happening there, you know. Because actually all the contemporary music is still happening there, but not here, you know. Here there are no, not much on composition, you know, on contemporary music, everything is old stuff, classical music, no? Uh, most of the ensembles and choirs singing in India, they sing classical Western music from last century, you know, or before. So, so you have more plans of staying on in India, evolving the music, Western yeah, music? so what I want to do here in India is, uh, on the next three years, is put my energy to create a degree in music, you no? Know, and create an uh, edi edi editorial publishing house for Indian composers to start composing Western music done by Indians, no? So with that Indian, no... Uh, but it's all going to start in Goa? Yes, yeah. So, so the Goa, Goa will yeah, be the yeah, gateway? I, want, I would like Goa to lead that Western music mm -hmm. movement. No? I think we are able to, mm -hmm. because of the support of the university. Mm -hmm. And in some way, Indians, they look here, as this is like a kind of... Western. Western oasis, <laughs> no, in some way, no. Uh, but we need to keep it moving, moving. No? We, because now I think Goa lives more from the past mm. than from the present True. in Western music, no. 
So what, what, what we say this at the beginning of the interview, no? Mm -hmm. Go and feel that Western music is something that they really do. Too. But I think... Fabric has a lot of Western... Uh, the, the music of Goa yes. has a lot of Western touch to it, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. And I'm talking about classical, no? Yeah, yeah I understand. Go and do music in every bar, every pub has a musician, musician. playing, you know, and jazz, and festivals here. But, but, but more than any other part of India, Goa yes, has a... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Other parts, they have Hindustani, Hindustani and Hindustani, but not so much Western. No, not so much Western. No? It's right. more isolated, no? Like for the Parsi community here, no? Mm -hmm. Or for a Christian community in Bangalore, no? Mm -hmm. no? But I think, uh, in my experience and in my collaborations with, with other cities in, in India, which I've done a lot, with Bangalore, Hyderabad, Mangalore, Bombay, Pune, Delhi, Calcutta, no? Srinagar also, uh, Jaipur, no? In all those places I went to give concerts and conduct, no, and this. And things are happening, but they are quite isolated, mm -hmm. no? They don't connect much. And are all run by old people. Mus yeah, Western music lovers, no? Okay. So they need to reconnect okay. with, with the new scene of Western music, no? Uh, and, and, and also connect among them, no? Mm -hmm. So I think I would like the, 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 the university to lead that, that movement. Mm -hmm. yeah. My final question, are you well settled in Goa right now or India? Is is it, are you content, are you happy so that yeah, you can I mean, yes. pull I further mean, on and enhance the scene? Yes, I come for 14 years living in many places, you know, in South America for five or six years traveling a lot and then in Spain six, seven years mm -hmm. also traveling a lot and then I have a family also. You know. I was, mm -hmm. I was Single, then mm -hmm. now I have a family, I have two children, three mm -hmm. years old, one year old, they need some time. So, so, so all of them are adjusted to India right now? Yes, yes. Are yes. they okay with yes, the yeah, culture that is living here? No, it's, it's a very nice, clean, green life. You know? uh, and, and I feel what I like Goa, about Goa and India, it's, it's like a virgin jungle you know? oh. uh, where you can create new paths. No? My experience in Europe is I love the culture, no? and, and it's my culture, no? basically. Um, but the, the, all the roads are done. No? You can uh -huh. walk, you can go and, no? and no walk, the, but you won't create a new path. No? So uh, for a Western composer, India is a place where he is able to create. create. No? Um, for the good and the bad. No? I mean, it's so, also difficult. Because you need to get into the jungle and you need to create a path, no, in the middle of it, no. But then the satisfaction is it's quite strong, no, because you are able to put your own ideas into it no? and to create your own path, no. And that's some uh, that is something that Goa and India gives you the opportunity to. And that's basically the, the reason why I'm here, no. Okay. Because I'm able to think out of the of the box, no. Some things that I, I do here, I won't be able to do it in Europe, no? Okay. Like, even artistic ideas, no? They are, the critic and the judgment is, is very fast and very strong, no? And everybody wants to keep things as they are, no? But here you will feel free to think, no? Uh, oh, because you are alone, no? But, but, but that gives you the opportunity to be creative, no? And I think that's maybe the point where... Uh, that gives me the the will to stay, stay. You know, at, at least now at the okay. university. All right, thank you. Thank